Hey, hey, welcome to the TCO Studios. Gabe Henderson here. The Vikings are in the win column for the first time this week after a strong performance against the Houston Texans this past Sunday. A man who played an integral part in that win joins me today for a one on one. DJ Wanham, who recorded his first sack this Sunday. DJ, how are you, man? I'm great, man. I'm, I'm doing well, man. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. Could you walk me through your first career sack? I know it had to be special, being that it was a Clemson guy that you got it on. Watson takes the snap. Here's a big rush, and he's sacked. It is a sack for DJ Wanham, his first in the National Football League. Yeah, definitely special, man. You know, uh, you know, being able to sack Deshaun Watson for my first uh, sack. Um, basically, co coach caught the call. Coach caught the play, and. The opportunity presented itself. I went and got it, um, and I didn't think twice. So just having that sack against him, man, it's a great feeling for my first one. I personally thought you should have got a sack last week on the botched fumble against Ryan Tannehill. You were the first person to touch him, but hey, they didn't incredibly yeah. still a tackle. But moving on, man, just All good, man. <laughs> exactly your family. Like I know your family has to be really proud of you. So could you right. describe, you know, the feeling right now of, you know, what it means for your family? Uh, you know, it's a big feeling, man. You know, just um, how them molding us and, you know, growing up, you know, just working hard and doing, you know, being able to set out and do whatever, whatever we want to do in life. It's a great feeling. And by them, you know, just raising us to go to college, you know, play football, you know, make good grades and then go out and excel on the field. It's, it's just a great thing. And just to see everything, you know, coming together and, and, and coming apart, man, it's, it's, it's great. Just describe your progression under Coach Dre. Uh, you know, just coming in, uh, you know, I learned a lot, you know, coming in as far as, you know, my technique and how to really play defensive end. So being under Coach Dre and then having guys like Jan, uh, Fadi, and Daniil, you know, having those guys in front of me, being able to learn from those guys. But I've learned a lot from day one. So um, I feel like, you know, the sky's the limit and I'm going to continue to get better and, you know, produce for the team. For every rookie, you got to get past that learning curve. But for you, I feel like you're starting to, like, hit that stride. So what's been one of your big adjustments? Right. Uh, my biggest adjustment was, you know, um, getting adjusted to the speed of the game. You know, uh, it's, 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 it's a little bit faster than college. So getting adjusted to that and being able to, you know, work quicker moves and, you know, do different things as far as my approach uh, coming off the edge is, 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 is different. How, how long do we celebrate this win? I know the Seattle Seahawks are up next, but how long do you celebrate this right. and, you know, start game planning for, you know, Sunday night football? Uh, we celebrated it yesterday, but now it's, it's strictly busy. You know, we got another game uh, coming up against an undefeated team with a, you know, a great quarterback. So I'm um, going into this week, you know, we're going to lock in, you know, and get ready to go for uh, Sunday.